This is the Serengeti as never seen before. Viewed through the eyes of East African guides Richard Knocker and John Vikivuyu, award-winning wildlife photographer Paul Joynson Hicks and inspirational filmmaker Eliza Pearl. For the first time in decades, this extraordinary wilderness stands almost empty. A unique but bittersweet time to be here. Over eight days, they'll be bringing you a rare glimpse of the Serengeti and all its inhabitants in a visual diary. We hope this encourages you on your own Serengeti safari, so together we can continue to conserve this precious wilderness. John, why are they all heading back to the river again? Uh, what is interesting about the world is, is the instinct that is driven by the storms. It rained in a couple of days in this part of the Serengeti. Now, yesterday, you have the storm up on the north. So they are heading back to where it rained yesterday. So you always have the back and forth going on, depending on where the storms are. This is a very complex thing about the world is that you know, no one knows exactly what happened. Because it could be raining on both sides. And that is what sometimes they from total confusion. So we have the two lilac breasted roller, the sun just coming up. They're all patched on little small bush here, facing the sun. This is like they are sun bathing. Beautiful. Okay, so um, river crossings are just a a crazy thing because you you know what is it that's so incredible about seeing a bunch of wildebeest cross a river but we're sitting here we're waiting they're f they're running past it's really exciting i think we we were talking about this ricardo the other day and it's the drama so much of what happens uh when you're on safari it's you know a beautiful leopard on a rock or a lion walking or some beautifully lit impala or something but now you've got thousands of wildebeest and they're right across the river they get eaten by crocodiles and it's just uh, are they going to make it? Where are they going to go? And now we've got this tension because we, it's, we're crossing number four again. Anyway, it's really exciting. <laughs> it's the drama of the moment. That's what it is. Here we go. <laughs> Such a muppet. What are you looking at here, Paula? Okay, so this morning on our way down to uh, the river to look at the river crossings, how crazy was that? Um, we found this complete carcass. So what we've done is uh, this very highly refined camera, which, uh, which is called the carcass cam. Yep, so we've put the carcass cam in the carcass, it's a bit smelly. And all that's left of the carcass really is skin bone and tummy poo, to be honest. And a bit of, <laughs> that's a technical, that's not a technical term. And uh, for want of a better word. So we're just gonna, we're waiting now for the vultures that are all moving back and let's see what we get from um, carcass cam.
What we have found today is the amazing behavior of elephants patrolling through the Serengeti Plains. It's a small breeding group uh, with a, a matriarch and five babies with different ages. And what they are doing is they're just pulling the new shoots of new acacia that grow through the plains. It's very interesting how they use the legs to pull the, the really tough shoots. And uh, it's a very amazing behavior because this is not a typical elephant habitat. But indeed it is because they are the ones who keep these plains open. We have an expression, we say, it's not easy being an acacia. When you're young, you become vulnerable. This is the small whittling thorn, thorn, thorn acacia, which what was happening is the elephant will come with a trunk and wrap it and kick it and pull it off and, and eat it. And it has a lot of nutrient because this is young. You see the thorns, but they're not, not as sharp as what you normally see on a, on a full grown up acacia. Will you look at these cool guys? These are juvenile milk, milkweed grasshoppers, which are actually a kind of locust. And that is a really good example of warning coloration, telling predators to back off. What happens is they feed on toxic milkweeds um, and they're able to store the toxins, which makes them uh, distasteful or actually sick making to their predators. So it's really effective, this. Yes, are we on? Sorry? We're on. Okay. Yeah, we're on. Hello. Hello. Um, so, uh, first thing we wanted to very quickly, because as you can see, it's, uh, it's raining outside, so we are not going out, um, unfortunately, so uh, this afternoon. So, what we just thought, there was a couple of things we wanted to talk about. Yep. Um, the first one is, if you are a tour operator, a travel agent, a tour agent, a secret agent. <laughs> if you are, I'm sure you are. If you are a hotel, camp, or lodge owner, or if you know someone who is uh, in the business, then we'd really, really love you to repost to use our films uh, to promote your businesses. Okay. That's what we've done it for is to promote the Serengeti and for you to promote your own businesses. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. So please go ahead. Feel free. Please feel free. Feel go free. mad. Yeah. Do loads. Okay. Next thing. Next thing, Paolo, was that blank. <laughs> <laughs> what were we saying uh, now? Okay, there were three things. There were. So that was the first Perfect. one. The second one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything in the, one day at a time. One, one day. Yeah. Okay. So, the, so um, <laughs> the point is, is that everything oh, yeah. that you are seeing in our videos has genuinely been shot in that day. Yeah. And the point of that is it shows you what you can achieve on a single safari. Yeah. So, you know, we're basically going out there with pretty standard equipment. A lot of people have equipment the same as ours or better. Um, and this is what we're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. You could be doing exactly the same thing. Nothing special about what we're doing. Yeah. yeah? Apart from us, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So normally, normal kit, uh, except for some of mine, which is not so normal. But yours is definitely normal. Mine is very, <laughs> what did you call it? A disposable uh, lens. I, I well, think I can it. say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so <laughs> then what's the last one? Um, finally, the other thing is, if any of you are out there dying to go on safari, please get in touch with your tour operator. They will let you know, tell you all about Tanzania, where Tanzania Serengeti is open for business. If you don't have a tour operator, get in touch. We can set you up. Absolutely. Uh, we can organize you. Yeah. Um, and we're here. If you need a guide, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, um, so that's what we do. And uh, obviously, if you want to come on safari, then, um, then we would love to um, guide you. Me, photographically, Ricardo and Jombi, uh, from a wildlife perspective, and obviously from a... A, what a genial host and pun, pun, punter. Honey guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from a rather damp Serengeti, uh, good evening. Signing off. Bye Signing now. off. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. No, well, you forgot part of it. Absolutely. No, you did. Okay. You forgot like the middle one. Yeah, and the first one. And, and the first one. one. No, you got the last one. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs>